Miss Kate. Hold on, I'm getting ready for work. You're already at work. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. Why'd you bring bathroom products to work? Well, that is actually illustrating an amazing science concept called the Bernoulli concept. I've heard of this concept. This is where fish swim faster underwater, right? Yes, and it also has to do with flight. With flight? Yeah. So it helps flight. our fish and our birds. It does. What else does it help? By sea, by air. I'm not sure if it helps anything on land, actually. I'm not sure either. Hmm. Well, it actually has a lot to do with the forces of flight. So did you ever wonder how planes stay in the air? Yeah, since they are so heavy, I always wondered how they stay pretty much afloat. Would that be the right term? Yeah, kind of, how they fly in the air. Um, and also how that ping pong ball just floated in the air. Even when I turned the hairdryer sideways, did you see that? I did. Mad skills right here with the hairdryer. Oh yeah. As you can tell. So how does it work? So it works on the concept of air pressures. So we've got heavier air pressure that's pushing down on that ball or the plane, as well as gravity, right? Everybody says, mm -hmm. hey man, gravity brings me down. <laughs> but in order to fly, you gotta overcome that force of gravity, right? Right. So when an airplane takes off, we're actually putting a couple of different forces into play. You have to have thrust, so that's what's pushing the airplane forward. Okay. That's usually done by the propeller in the front or the jet engines on the side of the wings. Right. Sometimes in the back if we're talking about a, fire, a fighter plane. Okay. So that's gonna create thrust and it's going to push your plane forward. Okay. But. So we're going forward, but we're not going up yet. No, because the forces of gravity are still bringing us down. Right. And we're also experiencing drag. Now when you have drag, that's when the air pressure is coming over your plane and it's actually working against that thrust. Okay, so, so so far we have going forward. Thrust! Or thrust. We have a force pushing us backwards. Drag! Or drag. Don't be a drag man. And then we have gravity pushing us down. Ugh. Now what's going to push the plane up? Lift! Lift. So the four forces of flight are? Thrust. Drag, gravity, and lift. Yeah. So the key is that you've got to get all of those forces to balance out. Okay. Okay, so you're staying with me? I am. So how do we go from all of that to this? So I think it might have something to do with the air. Ah, I think you're right. So the air is what lifts. The air is what helps us get lift. So it's that changing and balancing of air pressures. When I put that ping pong ball into the stream of air in the hair dryer, what's actually happening is that the air pressure is changing. It's going around the ball and helping to pull it up or create lift. Okay. So much like if my arms were an airplane wing and I was going forward really fast, that air is going to travel around the shape of the airplane wing. Okay. And as it does that, you're going to create a difference in air pressure. The air that's going underneath the, the wing is going to help create that lift and keep us off the ground. So you're saying that the shape helps with the air pressure? Yes. All right. So that means that you would have to have a smooth surface on top, right? Yes to make a sleek, smooth surface so that air could travel over fast. But then you would have to have a fatter surface on the bottom, that way the air would get compressed and then wanna lift you up. Right, that's why airplanes don't have square wings. That makes a lot of sense. And that also makes sense why we can't fly, because we kind of have square bodies, right? Yeah, our wings aren't quite big enough to create enough lift for us to fly, but one day. One day the birds will know to fear the name Malcolm. And the rise of the bird people. <laughs>
But until then, this has been another fun digital lab. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. My name is Mr. Malcolm, this is Miss Kate, and we look forward to seeing you again. Bye.